What's up, I Waited family? It is Friday, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Fix It Jesus Friday, where we come before our precious Jesus and ask him to fix some things. So today, oh, and don't mind my slave twist. I need to protect the style of my hair, so yeah, don't mind that. Um, so today, what I want to talk about is the B word, and I'm not talking about the Bible. Okay, I'm talking about the B word, B-I-T-C-H. You know, when we were younger, we spelled it out because we didn't want to say it, or at least the kids around us didn't want to say it. We were good Jesus kids, okay? So anywho, today I want to talk about the B word. Um, and so what kind of brought this along for me was uh, this past Sunday evening, I went to a panel discussion. It was called Girl Talk, and it was really good, really, really good, um, packed out house. Like, she brought together a really good mix of people. And so, um, one of the questions that came up for the panel was, uh, and I'm not sure how the question was worded, but it was somewhere along the lines of whether or not it's okay to call another woman the B word, um, and whether we should use it. And so woman like woman after woman and um, a couple guys stood up and said it was okay it was a term of endearment um, they equated it to the n-word as we're taking the negativity out of it and taking the power back and using it all this other craziness and so one of my friends was on the panel and she got the mic and she said when did we become so low in our thinking that we think it's okay for me, for us to call each other the B word. Like for me to call someone who I consider a friend the B word. Like I, and I'm saying that in a good way or a good way because it's there's just no good way to use it. And so I just started thinking because in my circle of friends, that's never okay. It's never been okay. I've never been okay with anybody calling me the B word because I just, even when I was, doing my in the world or whatever however you want to consider it even before now it's not just because you know i'm 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 i've i've rededicated my life to christ and all these things because even before i had an experience where two of my best friends they did use you know the b word in referencing each other as i guess a term of endearment and one of my best friends um she's she said it to me one day and i was like oh no no I don't that's not cute to me like I don't I don't want you don't don't call me that don't call me that and I don't I'm not gonna call you that because I just don't think it's okay you know and I and I told her you know you and our, our other friend can call each other that if y'all like but not for me because I, I just never thought that was okay and it just brings me back to when I was younger when people first started calling each other dog like hey dog that's my dog whatever whatever my mother but, and if anyone doesn't know, my, where, my parents are from Haiti. So my mother heard each other calling each calling calling people, our neighbors and our friends, calling each other dog. And she was like, well, why are they calling each other an animal? I was like, well, no, mom. It, you know, mommy, it doesn't mean like dog, like the animal. They're just like, it's like a term of endearment. She was like, that's, that's stupid. Like, you're calling each other an animal. And I said, well, no, that's not what it means. But I think somewhere along the line that's stuck in my head. Um, using words that would no not normally be okay to refer to other people, your friends or your family or whoever. And so for me, things like that stick out to me. I don't think it's okay to, um, I don't use the N word. The one, t the one time I tried to use the N word, just, I think, I don't know if I was trying to be cool or whatever. I don't know. It wasn't cool. I was trying to get at my, um, my ex-boyfriend. And he said something to me, and I was like, ninja, da 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 He was like, hey, hold up. I'm not a ninja. Don't call me that, and um, don't ever refer to me that way. And for me, that was like, you know, I now thinking back on it, I'm proud of him for standing up for himself, first of all. And then, you know, putting me in my place in terms of that, because I w it wasn't right for me to refer to him as that, especially since I don't even use that word like that. But it, I think it was... For me a way of me trying to get to that place to use that word and so um um this brought me back also to um why do we think it's okay like why do we think it's okay for um someone who's my friend who i call a friend who i consider a friend or or even my family 
because I've seen video after video of people referring to their daughters, <laughs> their daughters, their nieces, you know, granddaughters as bees and, and hoes, you know, hope no one's offended, but you know, the garden tool, whatever, or, um, you know, why do, when did we become this, this, this society, a culture, a people that, that think it's okay to, um, to undermine women and, and, and put them down and because that's what you're doing. You're putting them down. It's, it's misogynistic. Like it's, and, and I looked up the word misogyny. It basically means you have like contempt, you have ingrained um, prejudice towards women. And so many men are mis misogynistic and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. They just hate women. They, they, they have this contempt. They have this like, sir, like almost like a disgust towards women. And for me, I think they have to take it back to the root. Like you have to go back and uh, look back in your past and see, hey, how did my mother treat me? Did she treat me bad? Did the women in my family treat me bad? Did they put me down? Did they disrespect me? Did they make me feel small? Because some men, I really believe that they just don't like women. And then that kind of translates to you really don't like women in the biblical way either. Like if you really want to be serious and, 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 and um, honest about it, you don't like women. Okay? If you know what I mean. You don't like women. So you need to go back and figure out why it is you have this 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 almost hatred in your heart towards women and you feel like you should put women down and you should um i had an ex like that none of that think about it I, I don't think he liked women um i don't know if it was not in the biblical way but he he had a disgust for women i don't know what happened but anywho men need to realize um and and and, and evaluate i'm all about if you ask my friends i'm all about understanding what happened in my past and then so that I can understand why I'm doing certain things. And I think a lot of people don't take that time to sit down and self-reflect and self-evaluate and try to figure out, hey, I'm uh, bitter. I'm angry. Like I have a lot of issues. Why do I have all these issues? Why am I so angry? Why am I so bitter? Why do I hate women? Why do I hate men? You know, we need to sit down and even... Um, I read an article by Damon, um, I forget his last name, he's on VerySmartBrothers.com and he talked about how um, Ice Cube, who's 46 years old, mind you, and he's still calling women the B word. And I looked up the article, it's, it's coming out in Rolling Stones today, uh, but I looked up the article and this is what he had to say um, about women and um, just about why he thinks it's okay to call women the B word. So he goes, if you're a B, you're probably not going to like us. If you're a hoe, you're probably not going to like us. If you're not a hoe or a B, don't be jumping to the defense of these despicable females. Um, I never understood why an upstanding lady would even think we're talking about her. Why do men think it's okay for them to make the distinction between who is despicable? Who are you to make that distinction? Um, between someone who's despicable and who, someone who's upstanding. It, that's not, your, that's not your, your place to make that distinction. And so I think for a lot of men, they think it's okay for them to, um, they make the determination as to who is upstanding and who's despic despicable, who deserves respect and who um, does not deserve respect and who deserves to be, like I talked about in the previous video, who deserves to be weighted. Um, on for by a man and who you know just doesn't deserve a man waiting on them I just who gave us the right who gave these men the right who gave them the right who gave them the even the thought to think that they have that right to do that so I, I just really want us to, to first of all come up a little higher a little higher in our thinking in, in how we see ourselves how we view ourselves how we value ourselves in 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 um, and, and re first of all, all this comes back to knowing who you are. When you know who you are, there are just certain things you will not accept. There are certain things you will not do. There are certain things you will not say. There are even places you won't go and things you won't even look at because you know who you are, first of all, in Christ. Y'all know I'm always going to bring it back to the word and um, just 
who who you are when you understand who you are then you won't allow someone to call you the b-word you won't think it's okay you won't think it's a term of endearment that, like that's just that's that's just not smart i don't want to use other words but that's just not smart okay so i i i really want us to 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 come up higher to figure out who we are to self-reflect and self-evaluate and figure out why we do things the way we do why we accept certain behaviors we treat people how to we we treat we teach people how to treat us and when you teach people how to treat you then you won't accept certain behaviors and you won't allow people to come at you in in ways that don't um speak to who you are and 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 then it 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 shows in how you carry yourself as well um and even even and I but even in that I don't think even if a woman carries herself as someone who you would think you can disrespect even if she carries herself in a way that you think she can she can be disrespected that doesn't give you the right to disrespect her or, or call her out of her name so um I could go on and on about this but this is we we just need to do better we got, we have to do better I might do a part two to this next week because there's just so much and I don't want to make the video too long. But um, if you have any comments, any um, any add-ons to this, just please comment below. Um, like, subscribe, share the video, comment. Let me know your thoughts because this, it bothered me for, um, uh, slightly bothered me this week. Just about the discussion, just seeing how people think and how they view themselves. So, yeah. I will see you all next week, uh, Friday. Love y'all. Bye. Peace.